Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to install KitKat 4.4.4 that is the latest version of KitKat on your Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos. Actually I have made a separate video showing how to install KitKat 4.4 at the time that was a new uh, that was a new edition of KitKat available but now there has been modifications to KitKat with Android 4.4.4 so the also the dual sim uh, features and other features that were not working in the previous version are working now so uh, thanks to the amazing response to my YouTube channel I am preparing this video so that all my subscribers as well as the new users can get to know how to install it on your Samsung Galaxy Grand Rose now uh, if I uh, show you if I go to settings over here and after that if I show you the my, I am currently uh, using now you can see 4.2.2 so it's Jelly Bean 4.2.2 yeah as you can see so uh, uh, to do the steps uh, that is to install 4.4.4 uh, you need certain uh, files with you I'll show you uh, if I go to my desktop over here you will see the Odin it's uh, very much necessary to flash the memory and uh, most importantly this CWM file this I will flash the memory of my phone using this particular file and the gaps file of 4.4.4 and of course the mm, ROM actually so I have given the description uh, the uh, links to download the files in the description below so you can follow that and uh, download the files at first primarily what I need to do is that I need to copy this particular ROM file and the gaps file these two files I need to copy in my external SD card now if I uh, show you I have already copied uh, both of them actually mm, as you can see if I go to this SD memory card uh, you will see uh, yeah, the cosmic one and the gaps these two particular files I have already copied it over there so you can also copy it on your own and make sure that your Samsung Galaxy Grand device is rooted because without root this whole process won't work actually okay now guys let's get started now what I need to do at first as you know is that I have to press the volume down key, the lock key and the home button key at the same time. Continue holding them until uh, the screen comes. Yep. Here it is. Now here it says volume up to continue. Of course I am pressing again volume up as you can see. So volume up. Yeah. Once this particular screen comes what I need to do is that I need to connect the Samsung Galaxy Grand OS to my PC or to my laptop actually I'm just connecting it and on my laptop I will open Odin just right click over there run as administrator yes click yes okay now see very much important thing over here now you will notice this particular uh, portion has turned blue I guess uh, you are quite familiar right now uh, that this is very much important because this makes sure that Samsung keys is properly installed in your PC or in your laptop this is very important so that this particular portion turns this sky blue and make sure this auto reboot and f dot reset time these two button, uh, buttons are checked actually ok after that I need to go to PDA over here and I will navigate to the file uh, to actually I'll show you which file yeah see this dot tag dot md File, this particular file this particular file is very much important because I'll flash the memory using this particular file okay now here it is and again I'm hitting start now yeah of course uh, this process will start you can uh, see the progress over here and also over here uh, in your screen also you will see this particular bar comes and uh, it's going on it will go on and end on its own and even in the screen over here yeah you will see that the NAND write start so the status you can follow over here and also the uh, over here where it says recovery once its full process is done it will say pass so let us sit back and relax till it says pass okay here it is now I'm just hitting you can also follow that your device has actually restarted on its own let it restart nothing to worry about here uh, what I'll do is that I'll just hit exit in Odin and I will just pull off my plug actually because that is no more needed just follow your device let the device restart nothing to worry about here now as you can see after the process with Odin is completed still you will have the jelly bean uh, installed on your Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos so now what I need to do is here I need to go to the CWM memory so I need to press the volume up key the home button and the power key button so keep on pressing them till the phone actually goes to the CWM here it is just give it some time it will come 
yep here it is now uh, if you follow closely I need to navigate using the volume up and uh, down button and select using the power button over here so I'm just uh, going to wipe data factory reset this particular option I'm just selecting it yes wipe use all user data just at the bottom you will see that it's um, the process is going on over there yeah, after that I need to go to wipe cache partition and just need to select that yes wipe cache and that's it now uh, as you can see uh, here it says install zip I need to install the zip folder from the SD card that I have actually co copied to at the beginning of this video so here it says choose zip from storage slash SD card I'm just going to that and mind you over here I have to install this program AOSP this particular file at first and after that the installation of the gaps file will be done right so I'm just going ahead with the installation of this program a so we particular thing yes install uh, here at the bottom you will say that yeah the process of installation is going on you have to give it some time till the process is completed it will prompt also over here that the process is completed okay here uh, now it says install from SD card complete so again uh, I need to install the gap uh, file so I again I'm going to choose zip from storage SD and I'm just navigating to this gaps file over here it says install gaps here yeah. I need to install it again you will see at the bottom of the screen the installation is going on yeah it says installing gaps yep okay at uh, last it says gaps installation complete so after that what I need to do is need to reboot the system so I just hit go back and it says reboot system now so I'm selecting reboot system now and at bottom also it says rebooting now this rebooting will take some time it may take time up to five to six minutes also now uh, maybe I'll crop the video in between but uh, you can actually hold off and uh, sit back relax till the screen comes I'll also show you once the main screen comes actually so let's just hit uh, sit back tight here it is here is actually the screen that um, that is actually flashing this KitKat installation this AOSP file the ROM that we have used yeah, the this particular ROM is being used so it will take some time now so just give it some time it will come along okay now as you can see in this particular screen I need to uh, select English uh, just navigate uh, where is English 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 yep it's, it's in the alphabetical order so yeah it will come right now yeah it is yeah it's English United States so I'm just selecting it just going it it in selecting the Wi-Fi zone actually yeah it has got my Wi-Fi let me give the password over here just a sec it's connecting to my Wi-Fi ah yeah the Google account of course you all should have a Google account I'll just give my uh, ID and password okay so I've given my uh, ID and password it says accepting the terms and all yeah this can take a few minutes just wait for it yeah so it says backup and restore uh, yeah everything is in place so I'm just hitting yeah. set up payment info maybe I'll set it up later on let the, let the screen come I'll just skip this particular portion uh, yeah skip restoring your contacts and all yeah of course it will contact the restore everything that was set up in my Google Drive actually okay just need to keep the name yeah everything is set so I'm just hitting next just a sec okay what if get Google Google now is always working for you to return yes I mean I guess Google now launcher will be good just once here okay so here it is 
just hit okay over here yeah it is just giving you the actually the helps and all okay so as you can see here it is if I just come over here and let me just go to the settings portion over here okay at first let me turn off the mobile data yeah so the Wi-Fi will turn on after that I go to settings and just hover around and okay so about phone and after that here it is Android version 4.4.4 as you can see here it is Android KitKat 4.4.4 so as you have, guys you have seen it so that is a video that is a thing you just have to do it and also uh, mm, uh, maybe I'll make a separate video that will show you the cool features that are here with Android uh, KitKat 4.4.4 and I'll make a separate video for it and let you show all the features, all the stuff associated with it. So that's it guys. For now, just like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more interesting updates to come. Bye-bye.